Hello everyone, we will continue the topic string comparison operators and in the previous video, I explained the string comparison operator CS that is contains string. Now I'm talking about a complete string and we covered the practical for the same. Now I will compare it to CO so that you can understand in which scenario you need to go for CO, in which scenario you need to go for CS. CO, CO is contains only at that time I talked about characters. First string has those characters which are in string two. But whenever I talked about CS, I'm talking about complete second string, which is in the first string. So to understand better, I will show you the practical tab. Suppose I'm commenting this and I will declare a string. Suppose I'm writing data LV underscore string one. Suppose I'm taking the length five type C and I'm passing a value. Suppose I'm saying the value madam. Suppose I'm writing second string. I'm going for length five type C. Suppose now I'm giving the value D A M A M. Now I am writing firstly if LV underscore string one contains only LV underscore string two. Now I am writing write system variable psi FDPOS else part I am writing this. Same to same system variable. I will activate the program. Okay, I will make one M in capital because here one M in capital. I will go for this because it will take case sensitiveness into consideration. Now we will talk about CO first. But CO contains only first string contains only those characters which are in second string. Now contains only it work on individual character. It will check one by one character. Firstly, it will check M. Do we have M into this particular string? Yes. That. A. Yes, we have small a. D. Yes, we have small d. A. Yes, we have small a. M. Yes, we have small m. Yes. So just think contains only is taking the character. First string should contain only those characters which are in string 2. It is taking individual character, searching hole. Okay, done. Second character, searching hole, done. Third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Now, if I will show you, we will get a true result. True. So, it is taking individual characters into consideration. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now you can see first string, second string. So now if I will simply do F6, you are saying this if condition is true and but the system variable is if we are getting a true result, it will return the length of first string. What is the length of first string? It is 5. Now I will simply, simply compare it to CS. CS what CS stands for? contains string string it will check for complete string it will simply simply checking is this string 
is available into this particular string or not. If we talk about individual characters, yes, individual characters of string one, it is in string two, but at the then at that point of time, C O give us a true result. Now we are talking about C S. C S works on complete string. If complete string B2 is in V1, only in that case we will take it a true result. So C O works on individual characters. C S works on complete string. Now, if I will simply simply write C S here and I will activate. Now I will get a false result. If I talk about in terms of individual characters, it is true. But in terms of complete string, it is false. Now, if I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. So now you will get the idea. Yes, whenever you want to look for full string, then you have to go for CSS. Yes. If you are going for individual characters, yes, then you can go for C. Now, this is our first string. And this is our second string. Now, if I will simply execute, now you can see system went for else part. Now, this condition is not true. If the condition is not true, we will get the length of the first string. And what is the length of the first string? It is 5. Now, if I will simply simply compare it to C, if I will simply compare it to C, A, you can get a complete idea. C A is contains any, any one character of first string. If it is in second string, yes, at, at least one character maximum can be any number. Then you will get a true result. So just see these string comparison operator, which we covered previously. They worked on individual characters. SAP will look for individual characters, but here, SAP will look for the complete string. And yes, this string comparison operator will not take case sensitiveness into consideration. But these string comparison operator are taking case sensitiveness into consideration. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you the practical difference how CS is different from this CO. Then if you want to go for individual characters, then you can go for CO. If you are going for CS, SAP will check for complete string. So firstly, I showed you in terms of CO, it is perfectly fine. It will give that true result. It will check for M, it will check for A, it will check for D, it will check for A, it will check for M. Yes, it is case sensitiveness. So it will take case sensitiveness into consideration. But when we two did in terms of CS, in terms of CS, yes, it is checking for complete string. This complete string should be in this particular string. Then at that time, we got the false result. Now in the next video, we will go for our next string comparison operator that is NS. And we all know it is not of CS. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.